Hello everyone, this is Bird55 TMP here. Today I've got a neat redstone contraption to show you. It is a sort of Minecraft uh, memory system. So essentially our components in this room are a 3x3 um, light panel and a 3x3 lever panel. Now the first thing that I want to show you is that the lever on the lever panel corresponds to the light on the light panel. So if I flip these four levers like this, and as you can see, those four lights turn on. So that's pretty simple to understand. But of course, it gets interesting when we consider this, these, this button and this lever over here. So what happens when you press this button is whatever data is um, being represented on the uh, lever panel will be stored so that when you flip, so that you will be able to change the inputs here and flip your present data save data and it will show you whatever you save so let's go ahead and do that we'll hit the save data button and if we look over here nothing changes on our light panel so we'll just go ahead and we'll create a new combination on our lever, lever panel but now if we come back and switch to save data like that then what our saved image appears so and this will work for any image you want and you can even see it here if I make a new uh, design on the lever panel and save that then the saved panel will change in real time so and then of course you can always switch back to the present data which in this case is the exact same and then of course to reset the thing all you do is flip all your levers to off and you hit the save data button and now your panel is reset so this seems like it would be a relatively simple device, but it actually took quite a bit of thinking to uh, get this to work this way. So if you'll stick with me, I will show you how this works in the next segment. Alright, so I'm back. Now I'm in creative mode, and I will go ahead and show you how this uh, device works. So first thing I'll just do is fly up and show you the redstone behind this. Now as you can see, it looks like a lot, and you know, it kind of is. but. Um, I've got four different colors for the lines. So the green line carries the uh, present data or save data signal. The yellow line carries your um, save, save data command. The blue lines carry your uh, inputs from the lever panel. And the red lines are the outputs to the lamps. So essentially though, all we have is nine of these memory uh, units. So essentially, you have one of these for each panel, and I have specifically designed these to do exactly what we see here. So um, these these are really the star of the show. Everything else is just hooking up connections and making sure, you know, our our uh, LED or excuse me, our redstone signals will travel far enough to get to our um, display. That is. So uh, in the next segment, I'll go ahead and show you how one of these works. Alright, so here I have one of these memory modules. I uh, just sabotaged it, put in some of my own levers and buttons so that we could um, change what the inputs are ourselves. So essentially, the star of the show is this piece. And what happens is this signal will come in through here from the uh, lever panel and come up here. And one of the, th the places it will go is to do this block to that repeater. And so essentially, we have one repeater here that uh, this is the save command. And so what that would do is it will push this block up, enabling the signal to come down here to this system. And what that will do is it will charge this redstone which will come around and power this block and we would recharge this redstone. So essentially that's just like doing this. Uh, you have two repeaters like that and you put a redstone input and they stay on forever. That's what that is. Now this block, what it will do, since it's hooked up to your um, save command, then that will move down so that whatever is here will reset itself. And then you've got this input here which of course if that's on, then this will store a charge, if it's not on, then this won't store a charge. And then 
the uh, final part of how this memory unit works is the um, present data or save data. So in this case, let's say we have our lever flipped up on, like so. If we come back over here, then our output, as you can see, is going to be on, like so. But if we switch to the save data, of course that's zero at this point. So what ends up happening is that the, um, the pistons push the block out of the way, so the present data can't put its information in, and the save data is, and of course that's putting it at zero, so there is no output going to the, um, to the display. So anyways, I hope that has uh, covered some of the basics of how this thing works. I just think this is a pretty neat redstone invention, and I thought it'd be really cool to just kind of show you guys what you can do with redstone. So um, if any of you have any questions or want to know more about this or anything like that, then uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.